In this example, we'll find the length of the curve f of x equals x to the 3 halves power from x equals 0 to x equals 4. And I'll remind you of the arc length formula. That's the integral of the square root of 1 plus the derivative of f squared dx. So all we really have to do is find the derivative of this function, which is pretty easy, plug it in, and then integrate. Now because this formula is relatively complicated, it's pretty easy to give you functions that we don't know how to integrate by hand. So in the next example, we'll see how we can use a calculator to do an integral that we are not able to do using one of the methods that we've learned. But for this one, we can find the derivative f prime of x. We find is 3 halves x to the 1 half. So if we plug that into the formula, we have 1 plus 3 halves x to the 1 half squared. Don't forget to square that. And then we have the integral from 0 to 4, right? Because we're given that we're moving from x equals 0 to x equals 4. So that's our starting and ending points. Now before we can integrate, we want to simplify things a little bit. If you square 3 halves, you get 9 fourths. And if you square x to the 1 half, of course you just get x. Because x to the 1 half is the same as the square root of x. To integrate this, we need to do a quick u substitution. Where we let u equal 1 plus 9 fourths x. Then du equals 9 fourths du. And in order to make our substitution, we need to solve for dx here. So if we divide both sides by 9 fourths or multiply by 4 ninths, we get 4 ninths du equals dx. So now we're ready to make our substitution. This gives us the integral of the square root of u times 4 ninths du. And to make this easier to integrate, maybe we can pull out the 4 ninths and then rewrite the square root of u as u to the 1 half. Now remember with definite integrals with u substitution, we could either drop off the limits of integration at this step, and then when we're done, come back and plug them back in. Or we could carry the limits of integration with us. So let's do that real quick. The limits of integration When x equals 0, u equals 1 plus 9 fourths times 0, which would be 1. And when x equals 4, u equals 1 plus 9 fourths times 4, which is 1 plus 9, or 10. So that means our limits of integration here in terms of u will be from 1 to 10. And that means when we're done with our integration, we don't actually have to come back into terms of x. We can just plug in the limits as values of u right away. So one more step to integrate. We have 4 ninths u to the 1 half when integrated becomes u to the 3 halves divided by 3 halves or times 2 thirds. And then we'll evaluate that from 1 to 10. So when you plug this in, 4 ninths times 2 thirds, we can rewrite as 8 over 27. And then we have 10 to the 3 halves minus 1 to the 3 halves. And of course, 10 to the 3 halves doesn't simplify to anything really convenient. So we would stop here probably, unless we had a calculator, in which case we could say that's around 9.1, in case you're interested but the expression on the left is the exact form. So when it comes to arc length problems, it's really just a matter of applying the formula. There's not a lot of thought you have to do in setting it up. However, recognize that the difficulty with an arc length problem is usually in integrating. So generally we have to start with a function that's pretty easy to work with in order to make this process doable by hand. 
But now let me show you one that we can't do by hand. Let's say we want to find the arc length of f of x equals x cubed, a relatively simple function, from x equals negative 2 to x equals 4. But it's going to turn out that this is not one that we can do by hand when it comes to the integral. So the arc length would be the integral from negative 2 to 4 of the square root of 1 plus the derivative of x cubed. Of course the derivative of x cubed is 3x squared and then we square that function. So it's 1 plus the derivative squared dx. If we want to simplify a little bit we could write that as the square root of 1 plus 9x to the fourth. But the square root of 1 plus 9x to the fourth is not one that we know how to do using u substitution or integration by parts. So it doesn't fit any pattern that we know, so we're kind of stuck when it comes to doing this integral by hand. So you might see some examples like this in the homework where you need to use a calculator to do this. And you could just Google around and find a calculator that will calculate integrals for you. Wolfram Alpha, for instance, will do this for you pretty nicely. Uh, you could use MATLAB, but I'll show you how to use your TI calculator in case you got one of those handy. So if we pull up the calculator, the integral function is under the math menu. So look for the math button here near the upper left. And it's near the bottom of this first menu. So we can scroll down until you find FN int. Now on a TI-83 and some of the older models, when you hit this, it will write this down on the display line. And then you'll have to type in four things. First, you'll type in the function. Then you'll put a comma and type in the variable that you're using, which will be x. And then another comma, the lower limit of integration, another comma, the upper limit of integration. And the comma button is right here above the 7. So you would type in something like, in our example, the square root of 1 plus 9x to the fourth using this x button right under the mode button. And then comma x comma negative 2 comma 4. And all of this would go inside the parentheses on fn int. But on this calculator, the TI-84, when I select this, it gives me a nice display version of the integral. So this one's a little bit easier to work with. I just type in my limits and use the arrow keys to navigate around. So I'll move up to the 4 and then over and then inside the function 1 plus 9x to the 4th dx. So it's the same four parts, the function, the variable, and the limits of integration but here I can put them in to this nice form. And then hit enter and it will give the answer in approximate form. So it's about 73.3. That's about the answer for this integral. So we can come back to the notes and write that down using our calculator. So again on the homework you may run across ones like this where it asks you specifically to use a calculator to approximate the integral and you can use any one that you have handy. If you have the TI-83 or 84, you can do it as shown, or you can find MATLAB or Wolfram Alpha to do the same thing for you.